guys, it's Vlogmas Day 6, I believe. <laughs> I can't keep up with the date now. <laughs> well, as of right now, I don't have any test results back, so I don't know if I'm negative or positive, but hopefully tomorrow I will get some results so I can go back to work. Um, I didn't get to go to the Christmas parade, but I watched it online and it was pretty good. Um, and I even got a shout out in like before they started the parade, you know, everybody was saying hi and everything. And I said, Merry Christmas, everyone. And I got a Merry Christmas back. So that was kind of cool. Um, and it's, it's good when they say your name. Hey, Kelly, Merry Christmas. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, then, the other day, my sister went shopping with my mother, and they went to, I think, the Junction, which is the resale, resale shop, and my sister picked up Dante's Peak for me, because I've been wanting this movie for the longest time now. I can never find it anywhere. I probably could order it online, but... I don't do a whole lot of online ordering. I need, I needed this and I want Volcano to watch like back to back because I love both of those movies just. I might even make like a, a, a day of it one day. It could be Twister, Dante's Peak, and Volcano. <laughs> it's a, a, dis a disaster day or something. It's, it's funny I do that a lot. Well, Especially with Tony, because he'll be doing these movie marathons, and he'll watch, like, all the tornado movies, or all the volcano movies, or all of this kind of movie, and we just have a day of it. So, the first Christmas movie that I watched this year was Krampus from 2015, and it's a PG-13 movie, so, you know, it's not, like, a whole lot of bad bad and gore and stuff but it is very funny and I really love this movie I mean it's got an interesting story and I don't know there's like a bunch of Krampus movies now and I don't know if this one came first or if, you know if the others are just like trying to be knockoffs but it's like one of those things you can get if you don't know what you're looking for, you can get the wrong movie. And a lot of people do that. Me, I pretty much know what I'm looking for when I'm looking for stuff. And I'm not too bad about getting the wrong movie. Like, there was um, the Ouija movie. And there was all kinds of Ouija movies that came out around the same time or whatever. Because they were in the red box. And I remember somebody getting that. And I was like, no. That's not the Ouija movie. It is not out yet. So, but I've been pretty good. I don't, I don't do that. But anyways, back to Krampus. So, I really like this movie. And it has a great cast. I mean, it's got Adam Scott. Um, he's been in quite a few things. Uh, he was in a few episodes of Party of Five. He was in an episode of Veronica Mars. And... Most, one of his, I guess, most notable things is Parks and Rec, or however you want to say that, Parks and Recreation. We always say Parks and Rec. I've never watched it, though. <laughs> I've just always said Parks and Rec, because that's what everybody else says. And he was in Hot, Time, Hot Tub Time Machine 2, which I think he actually took over um, John Cusack's character of that movie which I was kind of sad by because I love John Cusack he's one of my favorite actors so I wanted him in that movie but you know I, I let it slide because I like Adam Scott this also has Tony Collette who has been in a lot of stuff but the last thing I think I watched her in was Hereditary and that movie was like crazy um, not as crazy as Midsummer, but Hereditary was out there. And I'll probably pronounce a lot of these names wrong, just forgive me because that's what I do. <laughs> this also has David 
Kochner. And what I best know him for is Final Destination 5. And he was also in The Office, the American version. I don't know about the other version because I've never watched it. I know that's a real big thing, but I have not seen it. But I have watched all of The Office and I didn't want that show to end. And I only caught it after the fact. Like, I watched it on Netflix and I was just, no. And it, I mean, it's just funny and out there and stupid. <laughs> but I love it. It's that bad. Um, and this also has Allison Tolma. I'm probably saying that wrong. But uh, she was in Castle Rock, maybe a couple episodes. And the last thing I seen her in was Good Girls. And I really love Good Girls. I really, 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 really love that show. But I better not say that because everything I love, is that one ending? I can't remember. There's like a bunch of stuff that's ending. <sighs> I give up. I mean, seriously. How can you just like something anymore with it's just going to get canceled in a couple seasons? I don't. It's frustrating. For me, it's frustrating because everything I like, it seems like it ain't lasting but three seasons or something. They decide they're not going to run long with it or it just gets canceled. This movie also has MJ Anthony, who was in Incarnate, and I kind of get him confused with the other dude that was, I think, in this movie with him, was also in another movie called The Darkness. Um, so I thought it was this kid, but apparently it's the other kid that's in The Darkness. He's not in The Darkness. But they kind of look similar, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> And it says Stephania Lovey. Le 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 yeah, we're just gonna say Lovey. Anyway, she's in the Carrie Diaries, which I had started but I never finished. Um, I don't know why I was thinking like the other kind of Carrie. <laughs> I don't know where I got it in my head that it was the other Carrie. <laughs> but anyways, it's a Carrie from the sex in the city <laughs> not the not the blood covered carry i don't know <laughs> but anyways i never did finish that maybe i i, I kind of liked it so I, I might go back and finish it but i don't know why i had that in my head because i knew the picture did not look like it would be a a bad carry <laughs> covered in blood <laughs> i'm silly <laughs> i know this also has krista stadler who played the grandma in this movie and you know she speaks another language well she's from somewhere Austria or somewhere and the only thing I've seen the list for her is like a bunch of foreign films I've never heard of so and forgive me I don't know how to say this woman's name and I probably should Conchata Con Feral? Anyways, she was in Edward Scissorhands. That's what I know her from the most, I guess, because she was one of the ladies in Edward Scissorhands. Um, and she was also in an episode of Buffy, so I probably saw her in that episode because I've seen every single episode of Buffy. And we have Maverick Flack, who was Howard Jr., and Queenie Samuel, who played one of the girls, and Loa Owen, who played one of the girls. I don't know if it was Queenie that I couldn't tell whether it was a girl or a boy. One was more girl-like, and the other one I was struggling, like, are you a girl or a boy? Because I know in the movie, the father is dressing you up like boys, but I don't know. I, <laughs> I was like... Finally, I was like, okay, I just gotta look it up. And yeah, she's a girl. Uh, she just didn't look it. And then Luke Hawker? Hawk? I don't know. He played Krampus. <laughs> and then we had Seth Green, who played Lumpy. One of the gingerbread men. There was Lumpy, Dumpy, and Clumpy. 
And then we had your clown, who was the jack-in-the-box clown thing, which was really, really creepy. And just, you know, gobbled people up whole, just like a, a snake would. And there was per Perchita, the cherub. I'm probably saying that wrong, but she was really creepy looking. <laughs> like a little bat up there. <laughs> and there was also Teddy Claw, who was very fierce. Like, ah, he just teeth and hair. And TikTok, which I think was like the robot looking thing that had like maybe the saw or the knife or something. I don't know. Stabbing. That's all I can think of. And of course there was Yule Goats and there was Dark Elves and Evil Snowman and there was even a dog. The dog was good though. The dog was Rosie. Rosie was the dog. Um, which his real name was Thor in real life. And surprisingly, this is the only role that Thor has been in. But Thor did such an awesome job. I love the doggy. He's so cute. Yes. But there's so much about this movie that, I don't know, it cracked me up at times. Some of it was funny. Some of it I was like, ah. Oh. Especially the first time I watched it. You know, it doesn't bother me as much after I've watched something. I know, kind of know what's going to happen, you know, so it's not going to bother me. <laughs> but, yeah, so it's a thing of if you forget what happens and then, you know, you got those jump scares and stuff. Sometimes that'll still get me if I forget what has happened. But I really like this movie. And... I guess it was a good way to start off my Christmas movie watching, <laughs> but I guess I need to do some more lighthearted stuff and get more in the Christmas spirit. Um, so I probably won't be going to work tomorrow since I don't have test results unless I get some test results in before tomorrow. And um, well, I will. See you guys in the next video. <sighs> yeah, because it's long this. I can do this. Woo! <laughs>